What's going on guys? It is Mason of Delphino here today, and real quick before we get started, oh my goodness, it's been such a long time seemingly. I've uploaded like none in the past month and a half maybe. I'm so sorry. I've been really busy. Life's gotten in the way in a good and kind of bad way, but all that's out of the way now, so that's good. But just so you know, frequent uploads are going to be happening again soon. I've just been a little busy. But we're back. Hey, what's up? It is me, your boy, Mason. What's up? So, you know, the Nintendo Switch is coming up very, very soon. We heard about it on October 20th when we got its debut, and then on January 12th, late at night, they had this big presentation. A horrible, horrible narrator for the Japanese wording and stuff. That dude probably got fired, I think. But that's beside the point, because he just doesn't know Japanese anyway. He's making up as he went, but you get it. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm excited for this thing, as you can see. Okay, so this thing is releasing on March 3rd. The Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch is quickly approaching now. It is only like 40 days away, if that now. And it's just like, oh my goodness, life is just flashing before my eyes. I can't begin to tell you how quick life is just gone. But, you know, that's good. That's a good and a bad thing. You know, uh, we're getting closer to the Switch very soon, seemingly. But my life is flashing before my eyes. That's not so good. I'll be 20 this year. What? I'm 19 right now. Life goes too quick. Don't grow up. It's a trap. I don't like to adult. I've been busy. And, you know, one thing I like to do is come back and play video games because I'm a nerd without a life. And, you know, this is what I do. I'm a Nintendo nerd, as you can obviously see. So, there's a game releasing for a said Switch called 1-2 Switch. Basically, this is a... almost like a tech demo kind of game. You know, Wii Sports for the Wii, Nintendo Land for the Wii U. Basically, it was just trying to convey what this thing is able to do. What is it, what, what can the console do? That's what these games are meant for. You know, you had the Wii where you were bowling, you were playing baseball, Wii Sports, and then you had Nintendo Land, you were looking in the gamepad for Mario Chase, you were going like this with it for Donkey Kong Crash Course. All this stuff was happening, and all it was doing was utilizing what these systems were able to do. Now, the Switch has all kinds of features. It has one of those little motion picture things where you can see the difference between rock, paper, and scissors, whatever, that was not rock, paper, scissors, you get the point. And then you can do the new HD rumble thing. Now, that looks really cool. Basically, it's like, let me just grab my phone here. Hello, Harambe speaking. Just kidding. He's gone. R.I.P. This thing, pretend this is a Joy-Con for the Nintendo Switch. Joy-Cons are like the side controllers for it. Now, pretend this is one of those. It can simulate any feeling, basically, according to my understanding. The trailer's been able to simulate ice and water going into a glass. Like, this is a Joy-Con, per se. And water's filling up. You're able to feel that. And I'm like, how does that even work? You know, this is a big thing. That's something new in this day and age. It is 2017. Oh my goodness. How is that how is that a thing? That's so cool. But, you know, I haven't tried it for myself, but what I do know is that that would be a really cool feature if it does work how it is meant to. So, you know, we have all these features in the Switch. You're able to take it on the go, you're able to do all this stuff. But this game is like one of those games where you don't know what the heck is going on. Now, I watched the trailer, at first I'm like, what is this? Is this some kind of cowboy shooter? Or, hey, you wanna see my horsey? No, this is not some kind of western rodeo game. This is the game that should have been bundled with the Nintendo Switch. Now, it's like, why is it not? Nintendo's trying to keep it under $300. They have seriously overpriced these accessories for said Switch. The dock is $90, the Joy-Cons are $80, one Joy-Con by itself is $50, the Pro Controller is 70. There's so many high prices for this stuff. The Joy-Con grips are 30, and it's just like, oh my goodness, lots of stuff is being profited in a bad way. Like these are way overpriced almost. But you know me, I bought it all anyway because I am a freak for Nintendo. But that's not my point. My point is, you would think they would want to continue with that flow. You know, hey, here's what our system can do. Here's the game that will utilize that. Here's the game you're able to learn that with. You know, here's the Wii Sports of the Nintendo Switch. But no, instead they're gonna just be like, hey, here's this game for $50 with I don't know how many mini games, 20-ish or something like that, give or take, um, so far that we know of. And it, it's a very strange thing, but this game is supposed to utilize all of this stuff. And you have milk and cows, that's okay. Why, okay, I, I don't understand this kind of stuff. Like, why are you gonna try to milk a cow? Why is that a fun activity? Or why is seeing who can shoot who the quickest, a fun activity. I don't know. Like, that was what the trailer was. You're watching the trailer right now. Uh, here's a little snippet of what I'm talking about, actually. 
basically these cowboys are trying to figure out who can pull the trigger first by they're using their joy cons of course uh, i don't understand it i think it's weird uh, but it's one of those games you don't understand the concept of until you play it yourself but nintendo is claiming this as one of the first video games you can play without having to look at the screen but instead you're supposed to look at your partner or whoever you're playing it with um that that's an interesting concept i will say but it, it blows my mind how they think not bundling a game with a system is still going to sell the game. That's like Wii Sports. If Wii Sports is a $50 game, you're not going to pay $250 for your Wii and think, oh, this game with five mini games is going to be definitely worth the purchase. No, that game was one of the best selling games of all time, but you know why it was? It's because it was bundled with the Wii. That thing sold like hotcakes, and so did Wii Sports because it was bundled with it. Now, why would that not be applicable for the Switch? I don't understand. It's like one of those situations, I've just thought about it a lot, I wanted to get my mind off of it. I just figured it could go a lot better if it was bundled with it. There's so many things the Switch comes bundled with anyway. It has Joy-Con grips, the AC adapter, the system, a dock, all this stuff. And it's just like, you know, why not add a game to that? Because that one makes sense. Here's a game system, it doesn't come with a game, but whatever. I just wanted to talk about how I thought it was kind of weird for Nintendo to go this route, considering they usually don't. And it is what it is, of course, but, you know, I want to know your opinion too, though. What do you think about Nintendo not bundling the Switch with a game? Do you think it's a bad idea? Think it's a good idea? I have no clue. But let me know down below in the comments what you think, and thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you next time.